So you're considering a move to Tampa Bay. Well, if you're anything like me and the over 500 people I've spoke to over the last few years, you're probably wondering where are the best places to live. You've watched a ton of YouTube videos, probably some of mine, Googled all of the areas, and still aren't sure where the best place to live in Tampa is for you. And that makes sense because when it comes to relocating, making sure that you pick the right community that matches your ideal lifestyle and budget is super important. However, finding the info you need to make a qualified decision, that can feel like you're searching for a needle in a haystack. Well, in today's video, I hope to make your decision a little less stressful. We'll cover the five best places to live in Tampa Bay according to our clients. These are people who recently moved to the Tampa Bay area just like you're planning on doing now. We'll cover the cost of living, amenities, best things to do, schools, and the overall lifestyle in these communities. I'll even share some of my favorite resources so you can make the best decision for your situation. If we've never met before, my name is Juan Alcala. I make videos that are all things Tampa Bay. What it's like to live here, what it's like to work here, what it's like to play here, the food, the dining, the outdoors, the beaches, and the sunshine. I'm also a licensed realtor and a team leader here with the True Living Group where we help people just like you buy, sell, relocate, and invest here in the Tampa Bay area. All right, now I'm excited to share this with you today for a couple different reasons. Number one, we can help you make this a reality. But number two, I've also relocated to the Tampa Bay area. A little over five years ago, I packed up my family of five. We moved 1,200 miles south here to Tampa Bay and have been loving it ever since. And on this list, there are a few communities that I know that if you do some extra homework, you do a little exploration, you'll probably find that they are perfect for you and your situation. There are incredible amenities in a lot of these communities. There are outstanding opportunities in terms of employment in the surrounding areas. And let's be real, you don't have to shovel sunshine when you move to Tampa Bay. We have it in spades. It's so abundant here, over 250 days of sunshine annually. Our average temperature during the winter is in the 70s. It's incredible. So let's get into this list. Give me the list. Before we get started on this list, I wanted to let you know that this is in no particular order. And to be fair and impartial, my hometown is not on this list. Well, and it's not the most popular from our clients either. So that would be on there. But I wanted to be fair and transparent with you guys so you know what's going on. Now let's get rocking and rolling on this list. And number one is Wesley Chapel. Wesley Chapel has absolutely exploded in popularity over the last five years, but it has been growing like crazy for pretty much the last 10. It's got um, a lot to love about it. You know, in terms of location, it is in Pasco County. It is just north of the Tampa city limit. So you go from Hillsborough County to Pasco County. Uh, Pasco County is known for having uh, top rated schools um, and Wesley Chapel is just a, a really convenient space in terms of the suburbs. Now you're about 35 minutes to 45 minutes with traffic to Tampa International Airport. Same distance to driving downtown, 35 minutes to 45 minutes with traffic. On a bad day, it can get longer. So I just wanted to share that with you. You also have access to the Clearwater St. Pete Airport. That one's gonna take you about 45 minutes to 55 minutes if you had to get there. You know, just giving you some perspective on drive times. It's also a short 15 minute drive to University of South Florida. Again, driving to downtown Tampa to the University of Tampa specifically. You've also got um, great hospital systems in the area like Advent, Orlando Health, and then um, you've got access to the Moffitt Cancer Center, which is uh, a short 20 minute drive. And right now they're building a, a humongous research center up in Angeline, which is just to the northwest of Wesley Chapel as well. That's gonna bring a ton of jobs. And of course, having uh, access to that type of healthcare in the area is awesome. Now the cost of living in Wesley Chapel, Florida is relatively more affordable than some areas, but more expensive than others. It kind of sits right in that sweet spot in terms of suburbs. What you get for your dollar, I think is a great exchange of value. It's not cheap, but I wouldn't consider it super expensive either compared to other areas here in the greater Tampa Bay area. I mean, we just did a video where we broke down um, the 10 most expensive cities and most of the real estate there was $750,000 plus on average. And Wesley Chapel is not that at all. As a matter of fact, the, the median list price to, as of today, the time of this recording is right around $465,000. Now the average single family home is selling for right around $490,000, but in the last 30 days, you could pick up a brand new DR Horton three bedroom, two bath for $258,000 and spend as much as $1.25 million on a gorgeous Biscayne property up in North Epperson. The average condo, town, home, or villa is selling right around $444,000. And the average rent in the area is right around $2,400. 
Now, in terms of things to do, this is where Wesley Chapel really wins. Their amenities are lights out. As a matter of fact, they have some of the best amenities in all of the greater Tampa Bay area. And shopping is one of those key areas where they win. You've got the Tampa Premium outlets right there. You've got the Grove at Wesley Chapel. You've got Crate at the Grove. You've got the shops at Wiregrass, just to name a few. These are three major shopping centers that give you access to basically every single brand that you can imagine. I mean, everything from Nike to Sephora. I mean, it's it's all there. Costco, Target, um, you know, Walmart, it, it, everything you need is in the Wesley Chapel area. And, you know, they, Wesley Chapel started out with the, if we build it, they will come model. And they've done a great job, even down to the seven and a half acre man-made lagoon that you've got out over in Epperson. Um, you can go there. There are public tickets. It's a small portion that they set aside um, for non-residents. But if you are a resident of the Epperson community, you have access to this um, as part of your resident benefit, which is incredible right? So this is a seven and a half acre man-made lagoon. It was one of the very first to get built in Florida. And the company that builds these lagoons called Metro Places is now onto their fifth groundbreaking, which is incredible. There are many more in the area. So if you want to know about those, you know, leave a comment down below. I'm, I'm happy to share and talk more about the lagoons, but we've done all kinds of videos on lagoons. You can go check those out. I'll link those in the description as well, so you can actually uh, kind of wrap your mind around it. But, you know, the whole idea of these lagoons was to bring the beach to the backyard. And for Wesley Chapel, it's about an hour and 20 minute drive to Clearwater Beach, which is, you know, the, the probably the closest proper beach, I would say. You can go to Fred Howard Park, but that's not the crystal clear, um, uh, beaches of clear water with the white sand and and um, the the vision that you probably have in your mind um, you know so what they did is they decided they were going to bring the beach to your backyard and this seven and a half acre man-made lagoon is incredible you can kayak you can paddleboard there's uh, slides there's um, a swim up uh, tiki bar there are um, food options there there are cabanas there's a, a, a lap pool there's all kinds of amenities you have there at your fingertips and this is one of those uh, key features of the area there's also the sports complex over in wiregrass um sorry watergrass and uh the you know the 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 youth sports in the community are wonderful. They have uh, top-rated schools in Wesley Chapel. There are, if you look at the school rank rankings, um, some of them are a little bit lower. Keep that in perspective too. They are starting to work their way up and they're adding more types of uh, programs up there. You've got STEM schools um, you know, available to you. There's charter schools, private schools, all the things you could ever ask for. And these communities are absolutely lights out. So keep that in mind also. Now, who is Wesley Chapel for? You know, So when we start talking about the overall lifestyle, you know, they have definitely built Wesley Chapel with the idea of attracting a quality resident is what the way that I would define that. Um, you know, definitely family focused, but you do see this multi-generational mix of um, there are senior communities. There are 55 plus communities in the area also. Epperson has one of those, um, but it's really kind of designed for everyone in mind. But if I had to give a target, I would say they're prop they're targeting families. Let's you know, let's be honest about it. And I think they do a good job with that. You know, I have three kids of my own, Kate and I. If we had to live in the suburbs, we live close to the beach, just so you guys know. If we had to live in the suburbs, Wesley Chapel would be on our radar. It has the amenities we're looking for, has sports programs, um, the quality of the community. It's mostly new. I love that. The all of the new construction out there, my dollar goes really far um, when it comes to the cost of ownership in a home. When you buy a brand new home that cost of ownership goes way down and right now you can pick up a brand new home for the same price that you can get a resale so in my mind i'm going new all day i love that again it overall quality of the community is wonderful the cost of living there is um, extremely affordable for what you get and uh, again the amenities are outrageous Wesley Chapel is a place to check out now we're gonna head southeast into Manatee County into one of the fastest growing communities in all of Tampa Bay this is Parrish Florida um, this area is doing something that I to be quite honest with you I, five years ago if you'd have told me that people were moving to Parrish I would have told you it was going to be farmers and people who, who didn't like people because <laughs> there was basically nothing out there. There's nothing there! Beautiful area, Fort Hammer Park, old community, um, a semi-rural is what I would refer to that um, as, you know, again, it's kind of in between Sarasota and Tampa Bay, um, just to the southeast of the Bay um, particularly. But, 
you know, something about this community is, you know, they looked at areas like Lakewood Ranch, they looked at areas like Wesley Chapel, and they're like, you know what, we can do this too. And they've really kind of taken that head on. And this community right now is exploding. As a matter of fact, there are as many houses selling in Parish as there are in Wesley Chapel. And one of these things is not like the other, right? Wesley Chapel, 62,000 residents on its way up to 100,000 residents. Um, Parish is probably 20,000 max. And let me tell you, they are chugging the right way. They've got a lagoon being built down there called Sea Air. So again, one in Wesley Chapel, there's another one being modeled down there. You've got one of the, what I think is one of the best communities on Tampa Bay, that's North River Ranch. I love this area. Look, if um, there's a village center being built and you can still buy houses around it anywhere in America, that is always a great bet. And that is happening down in Parish. I love that. Um, it is another one of those communities. If you build it, they will come. You've got great new construction properties. Yes, you can still find um, resale properties down there as well. You've got access to the Manatee River. You know, in terms of location, it's about an hour, um, you know, just to the southeast of Tampa International Airport. You can be near Bradenton. Um, um, in roughly 25 minutes. You can be the Ellington Outlets in probably 20 minutes. Um, you can get to Lakewood Ranch in 25 minutes. Uh, St. Pete in 35 minutes. You can be to St. Pete Beach in 45 minutes. You can be to Sarasota Airport in 35 minutes. So like in terms of like looking at, at the geography, it's really well positioned and it's off the bay. Again, if you're somebody who isn't necessarily, um, who is uncomfortable with the idea of being close to the water, and I understand that, um, then these are the types of areas you want to target areas like Wesley Chapel and areas like Parish, so keep that in mind. The cost of living is very similar to what you see up in Wesley Chapel. Obviously, groceries, those types of things are going to be very similar. We're in the Tampa Bay area here, but in terms of housing, the median home price in the last 30 days has been $449,000. You could buy a single family home for as low as $279,000, and also you could have spent as much as $1.8 million over the last 30 days, also. The average condo costs right around $354,000, and the average rent is coming in at $28,000. So rent is about $400 more on average in Parish than it is in Wesley Chapel. So keep that in perspective. Now, when it comes to things to do in Parish, you know, this is where you're going to be a lot more focused on the, the nature, right? You've got Fort Hammer Park, which gives you access to the Manatee River. There's a lot of kayaking and boating that goes on. Um, the rowing club is out of there too. There's a lot of trails in the area. You know, you don't have the lagoon yet, so you'd have to go off to St. Pete Beach, which is about 45 minutes away, or Braden. Beach or Lido Key or Siesta, which are all beautiful beaches, by the way. Um, you know, it's going to be a lot more outdoor focused in this area. There are great dog parks. There's running trails. There's over 27 miles just um, you, that you have access to in North River Ranch specifically. So a lot of things to do, most of them being focused outdoors. Niche.com gives Parish, Florida an overall rating of B+. You've got um, uh, good access to employment. You've got top rated schools. You've got a diverse community. And obviously real estate is growing like crazy. So there's all kinds of opportunity for that. Also, the nightlife isn't necessarily great yet. They are working on those things as this community can uh, continues to develop and build, you're going to see a lot more access to great things like restaurants and uh, entertainment, and they're all going to be on the way. Before we get to the next community, I want to invite you to the comment section down below. The reason that I'm doing that is because your questions provide a ton of insight and clarity to other people watching these videos. And I would love to answer your questions. So don't hesitate to do that. I personally respond to all of those comments. Not There's no assistant for me. There's no bot doing that. That is Juan interacting with you. And those questions uh, fuel more videos and they also give me an opportunity to connect with you directly. So don't hesitate to do that. And while you're down there, you might as well hit the like and subscribe button. That way you can be notified every time we drop a video just like this. And speaking of the next community, this community has ranked as the number one master plan community in the country for over five years and it's none other than Lakewood Ranch. Now we've made a lot of videos on Lakewood Ranch and for good reason. This community is absolutely stunning. It is a master plan community, as I said. Now, what does that mean? That means it's been designed from tip to tail, right? There is something for everyone in this community. They, they've thought through a lot of things um, when it comes to living in Florida, especially in the area that it's in. Now, in terms of location, um, Lakewood Ranch is located about 20 minutes away from Sarasota, uh, 20 minutes away from uh, Sarasota International Airport. It's about an hour away from Tampa International Airport. Those two airports do have differences in flights, so keep that in 
in mind. Typically, it's less expensive to fly out of Tampa International. It's a bigger airport, it has more flights, but there are great flights at SRQ also, so keep that in mind. The beach from uh, Lakewood Ranch, you're gonna be driving about 40 minutes to Lido Key, um, 45 minutes to Siesta Key, give or take, depending on traffic. Uh, it will take you roughly 50 minutes to get to Ana Maria Island and about the same amount of time, 50 to 55 minutes to get to St. Pete Beach. So just in terms of perspective, it's located about um, 25 minutes with traffic south of Parrish. It is in uh, Manatee County. It's in the southeastern portion of Manatee County and it gives you access to all kinds of amenities. So, like Lakewood Ranch is very well designed. It's an incredible community. Uh, there are lakes all around the community. It has top rated schools and it is one of the most desirable communities in all of the greater Tampa Bay area and Sarasota. So keep that in perspective. It's when, it's in one of those spots where we would consider it more a suburb of Sarasota. But when you mention Tampa Bay, Lakewood Ranch does get pulled into that. And we have a lot of clients who choose to move to Lakewood Ranch. So just wanted to put that in front of you. Now, Lakewood Ranch does have a higher cost of living compared to the other areas we've spoke to, but it does have a lower cost of living when we talk about coastal regions in the United States. So that is also something you want to keep in mind. Over the last 30 days, the average single family home sold for $725,000 in Lakewood Ranch. Now prices are going to vary. They're kind of all over the board here. It depends on what village you choose, the size of the property, and the amenities that come along with that specific community. And over that same 30-day time period, prices range for single family homes from as low as $390,000 to as much as $1.8 million. If you're looking for a condo, townhome, or a villa, those are selling right around $446,000 on average. The median rent in the area is right around $3,400 also. So these are all things to take in consideration when it comes to the cost of living. Now there's a ton of stuff to do in Lakewood Ranch proper. I mean, you've got ranch nights, they do a farmer's market. You can go to downtown Lakewood Ranch. There are uh, shops, restaurants, you know, the medical facilities down there. You've got everything in Lakewood Ranch and all it has to offer, you know, the outdoors, the walking trails, the biking trails, all of the wonderful golf courses in the area. Um, you know, there is a, a, a PGA tour stop here in Lakewood Ranch, you know, there's a, a lot of things to do, but just 20 minutes away is downtown Sarasota. So you've got that at your fingertips as well. You got the University Town Center Mall, which is one of the best in all of Tampa Bay. Hands down, I think that that is the best shopping experience that you will find, even better than we have up in uh, Wesley Chapel. Not that that's bad, but this is second to none. Um, and then obviously you can go to downtown Sarasota. You can go to St. Armand Circle, you know, go check out the nightlife down there. Go check out Shore Restaurant. I love that restaurant. It's got a retractable roof on it. It's absolutely incredible. And St. Armand Circle is one of those special places in the area that you should just visit anytime you come down. So definitely worth taking a look in that end. And overall, Lakewood Ranch just offers an incredible experience when it comes to overall lifestyle, amenities, security, and a friendly feeling that the community has to offer. It is definitely worth taking a look. Now we're going to take a trip from the southeast side of the bay all the way up to the northwest side of Tampa proper and go to one of the most incredible communities in all of Tampa Bay, which is none other than West Chase. Now, maybe you watched some of our videos on West Chase before, but if you didn't know, West Chase just last year was ranked the number one suburb in all of Florida not just Tampa Bay, which is an incredible honor. It's it been a master plan community that's made that list many times in a row, but this community is absolutely incredible. It is still a Tampa address. It is on the Northwest side, as I said before, it gives you really close access to the beaches, but keeps you far enough away where you are isolated from of some of the, the heavier activity when it comes to storms. So that's why it's really desirable. One of the reasons. Another reason is it's only 18 minutes to Tampa International Airport. It's only 20 minutes to Raymond James Stadium, to Steinbrenner Stadium if you want to go check out the sports. It's 25 minutes to downtown, 20 really. Um, you have Costco over there, all the shopping amenities you could ever ask for. The schools are top rated. The diversity is top rated. If you check out niche.com, it'll show you the rankings. This neighborhood is absolutely incredible. It's worth checking out. Now, the overall cost of living in West Chase, that is going to be a little bit more expensive. It's going to be similar to what you found down in Lakewood Ranch. Groceries and those types of things are going to be right on par with everybody else, but housing is where the expense comes into play here. The average single family home sold over the last 30 days for $708,000. And during that same time period, you've had sales as low as $446,000 and as much as 1.1 million. But if a condo, townhome, or villa makes more sense for you, those are averaging right around 
$166,000. So when it comes to things to do in West Chase, there are a ton and a lot of them equal outdoor and activity. You've got Water Chase Park, which is great in their aquatic center. You've got Bay Bridge Park, which is awesome. Great tot lot. One of the coolest things about that park is it has an open field, a covered area where the kids can play. It has exercise equipment and it goes right under the main road. You, you can drive your golf cart or you can just walk the kiddos through there so you don't have to cross the street. It's really cool how that's set up. There are golf courses in the area. The Family Fun Center just opened nearby. That's got mini golf, uh, go-kart racing, laser tag, <laughs> arcade, all kinds of fun stuff to do in there. And the shopping is lights out. You've got Costco, Target, um, a World Market, all kinds of things at your fingertips. And again, you are so conveniently located in that area. And overall, it ranks really high on a lot of key factors. Again, top schools, diversity is a, is a key factor, uh, convenience in terms of uh, location. You know, you've got uh, the universities that are by you, Bush Gardens that is by you, Clearwater Beach, all within a reasonable drive time, including downtown Tampa. So don't sleep on West Chase. It is a great community. I would definitely check that out as long as it fits your budget. Now, what would a video like this be if we didn't take you somewhere near the coast? I would love to put you guys on it, but the areas on the beach aren't necessarily the most popular. Yes, they are the ones that get a lot of looks and people would love to live there, but most people, just to be quite frank, can't afford to live on the Gulf of Mexico. However, they can afford the cities that are adjoining, and this is one of those areas. Seminole, Flora is a beautiful suburb. Now, there's a few things that I wanna take note of here. Most of the communities that we've been discussing so far are newer, um, even West Chase. Now, West Chase isn't brand new. They're not building new construction homes there. If they are, they're one-off, no more developments. Um, that's been established for almost 30 years, but, you know, when it comes to getting closer to the coast, a lot of the real estate there starts getting much, much older. As a matter of fact, the home that I live in right now uh, was built in 1977 and Seminole is going to be very similar in that respect. There are some newer communities that were built, you know, in the 2000s, in the last real estate cycle, you know, the before the AOA crash, but there aren't a whole lot of new pieces of real estate. So I just want to keep that in front of you. What you're typically trading is 100% lifestyle for real estate. And what I mean by that is you can still find a great home here but understanding what it is you're trying to accomplish when you move close to the coast that is the most important thing you are lifestyle focused if you're trying to live by the beach now in terms of location Seminole is about 45 to 55 minutes away from Tampa International Airport um, it is um, only minutes away from from Reddington Shores and Reddington Beach I mean you can be to Tiki Gardens very very quick and that would be probably your beach of choice or Indian Rocks Beach both great areas Tiki Gardens has um, public parking, it's paid um, paid to park, but it's a couple bucks for the for a, a few hours there. It's no big deal, and they have a clean restroom there. And you walk right across the street to the beach. You're only walking right across Gulf Boulevard. It's incredible. You can head a little bit further north and go to Indian Rocks Beach. But when you live here, you're community focused, and typically you're focused on taking advantage of the beach. And it's an incredible lifestyle. Y'all get to walk in the morning when the sun's rising. You get to go see Gulf Coast sunsets, and these are something that people really, really long for. And when we get calls, they're like, Juan, I want to live 15 minutes to the water. Um, I want a four bedroom, you know, three bath house with a pool. I'd like it to be built in the last five years. And that's when I'm like, time out. <laughs> if you're looking for a newer home, you're most likely going to be looking in all of the other suburbs we spoke of, Wesley Chapel, Parish. Um, uh, Lakewood Ranch. Those are the three biggest communities that I would focus on if you're new construction focused. You gotta have new, right? You want that lifestyle and that is okay. But here's what you need to know. If you're a beach baby, that is gonna be very difficult to do unless you're coming with millions, plural. Okay, you can find some condos in the upper eights, you know, even low millions, but you start getting really close to the coast, that expense goes way up. So sharing that with you, those are the trade-offs. You can buy a home in Wesley Chapel, you know, Lakewood Ranch and uh, Parish that is roughly 2,000 to 2,200 square feet on average. Um, that same home here for the same price is gonna be roughly 1,300 to 1,400 square foot. So the size drops down dramatically. This area was really well established in the 60s and 70s. So just keep that in mind. Now, things to love about Seminole. It has uh, the Seminole City Center, the Seminole Mall there, so you can go down to do that. They've got a great recreational facility. We go down there, they do events annually. There's uh, food truck uh, rallies down there. Um, we did a triathlon with the kids down there at the Aquatic Center. That was a great time. The community, for in our experience, has been incredibly welcoming. That's one thing to take note of. Again, I don't live there. It's the city just south of us, but a lot of our friends live in Seminole. Um, 
They have all told us that they feel safe and the overall cost of living here is less than areas like West Chase, um, uh, Parish, and Lakewood Ranch, for an example. So keep that in mind also. So these are all things to take into consideration when you're considering this area. Now this area is uh, fairly diverse. Um, the schools are, um, they rank um, in the middle of the category. They've got, each school is gonna be a little bit different. Seminole High School may not rank as good as Lakewood Ranch or, or Wesley Chapel, but um, you know, from again, my clients say that their kids have had a wonderful experience there. So keep that in mind. But these are all considerations that when you're thinking about moving or relocating that you need to take into account. Um, I'll put the um, the crime map indicator down below. There's a great website and you can check the crime map anywhere in the United States. And I always recommend people do that because we get a lot of questions about safety. But unfortunately, I'm not legally allowed to tell you because of my professional license that something is safe or isn't. But I can absolutely tell you where to go and I can share my experience. And in in my experience, Seminole has been an incredible, we've never felt concerned walking anywhere in Seminole. The closer you get to the beach, typically you see a, a higher police presence because the, the people who live on the beaches aren't gonna put up with nonsense. You know, are there crimes there? Yes, the, in the, and let me explain what I mean by that. Um, I'm not saying Seminole's not safe at all. I just wanna share this because this is a question that people always ask. When I share that crime app, what I always tell people to do is go look where you live first because people always say, I live in a super safe area and they go look at that map and it's every reported crime. It's everything that is reported to um, the, the, the Federal Bureau of Investigation, so the FBI, it's public record and people are often shocked. They're like, I didn't know that was happening in my community because guess what, people are people. And folks do folks things, right? And um, especially when you get closer to the beach, what you'll find is some of the, the, the most beautiful communities on the beach have a lot of petty crime. Why? Because people who are unscrupulous like to come down and go to the beach and wait for people to walk away from their bags, right? They, lo they love to watch the parking lots and people don't lock their doors and they leave their wallets. And, you know, of course those are easy. And I'm not condoning any of that activity, but I always want to keep... I always like to share why things are the way they are, right? So what you're really looking for is violent crime, those types of things. Stack those things up against each other. And um, I hope this video helped you because there's a lot to take into account when you're considering a relocation or a move. Me and my team, this is all we do. We help people in Tampa Bay move and we help people from all over the United States relocate to Tampa to the tune of literally over uh, a few hundred Zoom calls over the last three years. If that interests you or you have more questions, feel free to reach out to us. Um, it is not a sales pitch. We are here to serve. Uh, me and my team love what we do. We'd love to serve you as well. So if you have any interest in that, all of my contact is listed down below. YouTube is gonna leave a couple videos here that they think you're going to actually wanna watch. So make sure you check those out as well. And until next time, go out and live that Tampa life.